Um, I still continue with my work uh, as a TV host at VTV7. I still uh, be a, a full-time student at my diplomatic academy of Vietnam. And regarding my voice, as a lot of audience complained about my too high-pitched voice, which was very irritating to listen to, and they didn't like my voice, I decided and I was so determined to change my voice by lowering the tone of my voice when speaking English from, hello, this is a very nice day. Yes, this was exactly my voice in the past, to, hello, this is a very nice day. Everything was going pretty well once again, and one day, the, produce, the, the producer and the director of the show that I hosted uploaded a podcast that had me hosting with that high-pitched voice, I guess probably back in the season one, the first season of the show. And then I asked him if it was okay to delete the podcast because I thought the voice was terrible and the audience might not like it and I was too afraid to be judged again by the audience. And then he texted me back and I could feel the disappointment and the anger a little bit in his text messages and he told me, that voice was a part of you. Why did you deny it? Okay, so no more podcast that had you will be uploaded ever again. And I was like, what? Did, did, did I do something wrong? What was happening? Am I making you angry? I didn't know what was happening back then. I was so stupid. It was not until when I talked to people, I talked more to my audience, and I read more comments, and people started to say, what happened to your voice, V? You spoke too quietly and softly that it's really hard to listen to you and we couldn't really find the positive energy, the fun vibes like before. And that moment left me speechless because I was too confident that the positive energy was something that I could always bring to people. That was my unique selling point. But when the audience couldn't find that in me, it felt like a loss of a part in my body. I really lost sight of who I was. I listened to people's opinions and I changed who I am because I think others might accept me for it, but I was strong. What I had been doing so far is not trying to become better, but trying to become someone else by rejecting myself, by seeking validation from every single one. And what the producer and the, the director told me just went on a loop in my brain for weeks. That voice was a part of you. Why did you deny it? Why did I deny it? I didn't know. I think because we as humans often make a lot of mistakes. And we often, very often, punish ourselves for those past mistakes. Because those mistakes often come back with an overwhelming feeling of guilt, of shame, of I am not, I'm not good enough and I have never ever been good enough. And I realized that the hardest person to forgive on this earth is not someone who betrayed you, and not a friend who wasn't there for you when you need the most. It's not your ex-boyfriend who broke your heart to pieces. The hardest person to forgive on this earth is myself. And then my best friend told me to stop doing what I have been doing so far, which is pleasing every single one. And he said, just be yourself. That three words. I know we listen to this phrase all the time, just be yourself. I mean, when I'm having a shower, just be yourself. When I'm eating, just be yourself. When I'm on the stage, just be yourself. When I'm talking to you, just be yourself. Just be yourself. Just three words, but we hear all the time and we're getting tired of it. But it's the use of the word just that really surprises me. Because when we use the word just, it means that it is something very easy to do. Then why just being myself? is still the hardest thing for me to do. Why? I didn't know. And after talking to my therapist, after learning more about meditation, about my inner peace, listening more to my inner voice, I realized that my true self is actually being covered up with a thinking and with a perception which is based on fear.
My true self is who I really am. When I let go of all those stories of all the judgments that I myself place on me. Do you still remember a challenge on Facebook where people would post a ten-year challenge, where people would post their pictures when they were kids, and people and your friends would comment, "Oh, you look so cute. You look so happy. You look so nice." And then uh, the, the, the 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 person would say, "Oh, yeah, yeah, I look cute. I was a cute kid back then." But you know, my challenge, I think, for you today. Is that take a picture of your face today, and remember that in ten years' time, you will be amazed at how gorgeous and beautiful you are. Because right now you are already gorgeous and beautiful because you just don't see it yet. My story is of stepping outside the norm. It's challenging myself, but it is not about changing myself because you you see, as you can see, I failed when I tried. To change myself. At the end of the day, we as humans, we are allowed to make mistakes. We are allowed to laugh at ourselves. We are allowed, you know, to do something wrong. Just make mistakes. It's not the end of the world. Who on earth has not made a mistake? Tell me a name. Who? No one. So it's okay to feel bad. It's okay to feel down and heavy sometimes because the cloud rains when it's heavy too. So it's really okay. It's totally normal. You don't have to try to become anyone else. You don't have to try to become this guy, that guy, this lady, that lady. No, you don't have to try to become anyone else. You just be you. And being you, being authentic, being an individual, is enough, because individuality makes diversity, and individuality. And diversities are two most precious things on this earth. I know that some of you here, every single one of you here, might be having some problems and pressure to deal with every single day. Maybe with your friends, with your family, with your work, with your study, with your love life. And I just want to tell you that no matter who you are, no matter where you come from. You are the one and only, and that's what makes you beautiful and special in your own ways. And no matter what you are facing right now, and I don't know, no matter what the future holds for you, please never change yourself. Love yourself, accept yourself, and then transform yourself. I really hope you have a great day today. Thank you.